So actually going back to the um, my computer uh, restarted when I uh, switched outlets here. I went from hanging out over there watching uh, some TV to uh, now doing this video on the live stream at the, at the table here. But in the meantime, I had a, a list that I used for my video that I made. And what it was was basically the four or five things that I think anyone should really do if they want to start an investing portfolio. And it doesn't necessarily have to be stock market investing or, or real estate investing. <coughs> Excuse me. It could be any sort of investing. And there's a couple of things that I left out in retrospect that I believe people will probably put in the comments section down below. And that's like emergency funds and um, and, and things along those lines. Um, and I agree that those things are important as well. But uh, I think a lot of people uh, have differing opinions on those things. And so from my personal experience, I wanted to give an idea as to what um, – what I personally think. And so if you want to do an emergency fund, you do or you don't, that's fine. But I think one of the things, and I'll kind of go through the list and, and stop uh, intermittently so I can answer questions uh, like we already have one now, but one of the things that uh, I learned very early on is if you skip between, and this isn't one of the main things, but this is kind of prefacing the, the video, if you skip around between investing strategies, I I'm pretty certain that you will lose money and it will not go well for you. Uh, and the reason being is, and I, and I preface that, and I also, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? I want to put a footnote on that and say, if you find out a strategy is not working for you and you systematically and succinctly change to a different strategy, then that is okay. I agree with that, and that is because you've learned, tried something out, and it didn't work for you. Um, but I think one of the thing, main things that you need to recognize is your time horizon. If you are investing for one to two years or if you're investing for 30 years, you're going to make completely different actions and you're going to make completely different investments. So keep that in mind when you um, do your investing. And number two, you have to understand what your risk tolerance is. Um, and so... If your time horizon is, say, 30 years from now and your risk tolerance is, say, you don't care if you lose all your money, then investing in Google back in 2000 or investing in a startup like Apple back in the 70s, you know, you wouldn't mind doing something like that. But if you want to make sure in 30 years your money's there, um, maybe the S&P 500 is something for you. Just put the money in the S&P 500, put it in the total stock market index, and, and just let it go. 